Hi, this is Jerry Jenkins. Uh, Arch Linux on April 1st uh, announced that they have a new guided installer here. A lot of people thought because it was April Fool's Day they were kidding, but it really is uh, there. So it's actually a Python-based installer that works on the command uh, line. Uh, if you download the uh, Arch Linux ISO, you can, you can install Arch now using this installer, which we're going to show you. Uh, there's more to the installer. So if you follow the links from installer to the GitHub, uh, you get to this page. And you can actually, uh, if you look down here, uh, it's actually a guided installer, but it also allows you to script your own installation. So it has examples of doing that, and you can actually build your I own ISO. And I think they have some links for that. It has nice support, and the people that are running it are very responsive to uh, your comments and suggestions on Discord or if you want to report a bug you come here and uh, uh, go to the issues area and so it's it's a little rough right now but they're improving it every day and it's got some really good ideas behind it so let's go ahead and use it uh, so we're going to go to uh, VirtualBox and I'm going to create a brand new image now one thing about it is it only uh, supports EFI systems, so we'll see, show you how you set that up. Uh, this is going to be in VirtualBox, but you can in, certainly install it on, on hardware. So I'm just going to call this Arch and accept most of the defaults. I'll just give it a little bit more memory and a little bit more disk. And then under Settings, we're going to set some things. So first, we have to tell it we want to, we have an EFI system. If you forget to check this, it'll allow you to do the whole install, but it won't start up. Uh, but if you did the whole install, you can just come back and check this in VirtualBox, and then it will start up. Uh, so we're going to go to Display and max out our memory. Uh, we're going to go to Storage and mount the uh, live uh, ISO, which I downloaded from uh, Arch Linux and hit OK and we'll go ahead and start it up. So uh, there's some places in this uh, where it's going to take some time to do things so you'll notice I'll either pause it or speed it up. Okay, to the ISO is image has started uh, and this is our prompt. So at this point, a normal Arch Linux, you would do manual commands to install and if you're a new time user, uh, it's a great learning experience, and I still recommend you do that, especially since there's some of the terminology in the, uh, the guided install you'll still need to know. Uh, so what's really useful is that while the command is arch install, but before that, uh, we're going to show you that there's a man page for it, manual page. So I really recommend you read through the manual page. So you can get to it here, and you can uh, scroll through it and read it. Um, but you can also, uh, on my web, I have a website where I publish the, um, the manual page in a little bit easier format that you could actually print out. So you can get a PDF. You go to gjenkinsedu.com uh, slash archinstall.pdf and you'll have the whole manual page here. You can print out and reference for us old timers. Sometimes we like to read things uh, or if you just like a little bit better uh, font than on your terminal. So let's go back to to install. So to actually install it you just type arch install. It's going to want the uh, keyboard map code so I'll do 21 for US. You can also type US and if it's not listed here, you'll notice you can put a question mark and you can search for more languages using a pattern, like just type D for everything that has a D in it. Okay, now this is asking for what country. This is going to be used for downloading packages, so it'll find a faster repositories. So I'm going to put in 51 for the United States. Now then it's going to show you uh, your drives that are hooked up, so you want to ask, it's asking you which drive you want to install on. Being in VirtualBox, we just have S, uh, SDA, or you might see VDA if you're running it uh, in a different type of uh, virtual environment. So we're going to hit 1. Notice it'll do uh, ext4 and uh, butterfs. 
I haven't done ButterFS, but uh, there's some good videos out there for doing that. So we're going to do uh, ext4, so that'll just be number one. Okay, so do you want to encrypt your disk? I don't want to encrypt it. Uh, desired host name, I'm just going to call it arch uh, install. A root password, it recommend leave blank. You usually do want to leave this blank so your your normal user can do uh, sudo commands, and that's what I'm going to do. So then you uh, type in the name of your normal user, and I'll do G Jenkins, and I give it a password. You can now create other users. I'm just going to skip that, and now you can uh, uh, you can just hit enter and it will it'll basically do a blank arch install with uh, no desktop you can do xorg which would install minimum xorg and then you can install a desktop after you boot up or you can choose kde gnome or awesome the awesome by the way uh, doesn't start up immediately you have to type start x so it doesn't give you a greeter uh, we're going to do gnome so i'm going to do two now desktop is a meta uh, thing so if you choose one for desktop it doesn't ask you do you want to do gnome kde or awesome so that's how that works so we're going to go ahead and do uh, two for gnome and then ask for the graphic card driver so we're going to do two for uh, intel since we're inside a virtual box and then you can install additional packages i'm just going to enter, enter here and uh, now it asks how do you want to set the network if you have a laptop you're going to have to hook up wireless after you boot up anyway, but you normally want to copy however your ISO is talking to the network uh, to this. That's what zero does. And then enter a time zone. And hopefully you know your time zone from manually doing arch install. And then it's going to give you a, a dump, which is a, a JSON which it scrolls off the top, you don't see it, uh, but you can SSH into the uh, ISO and capture this information. But this is basically answer, uh, it's the, all the questions you answered in the setup. So now you hit enter, it's going to start modifying your disk. And this will take a while. Okay, well now it's done. Uh, you can just, uh, what I'm going to do since I'm in a virtual box, I'm going to shut down. And then I'm going to uh, go into settings on virtual box storage and I'm going to unmount the uh, ISO. And then I'm going to restart the uh, image, and this time it should boot up into our our install. And there we are. Let's log in. There we are. Uh, it's actually uh, opened up and installed uh, GNOME 40, the brand new GNOME 40. Uh, from the Arch repositories. Uh, the uh, uh, packages are all uh, up to date. Uh, let me go into a terminal. Make it a little bigger. Uh, let's see. Yes, you do. Pacman. You see the packages were all updated. Let me install uh, uh, NeoFetch. And we'll run it. And you can see we have the uh, new GNOME 40. Um, we have Arch Linux. Uh, installed and we have uh, kernel 5.11 so it uh, installs all the newest stuff and uh, 
you end up with let's see 864 packages which is about as light as you can go installing GNOME now it's ready for customization adding any programs you want uh, you may have to add Bluetooth uh, um, to inst and install that and get it working so it's ready for whatever you want and that's the new Arch uh, guided installer thank you for watching